it's a gorgeous day here on the farm so i thought i'd sit down and do a tuesday video for you so i'm just setting up my chair let's have a sit and a chat oh that's nice so i didn't know whether i was going to do this video so it's fairly informal it's not very planned but safety on the farm a big topic a lot to cover but what we're going to do in this video today is actually talk about the things you need on hand for a critical situation. We had one recently here on the farm and it was heartbreaking. It was something we couldn't have planned. We couldn't have organized anything better than what had happened. But without going into details on the exact situation, I did want to go over a few key points that I think would be helpful for others if something similar came up. I'm gonna keep broad, but do you know how long it takes for emergency services to get to your farm? Whether that is an ambulance, a firefighting, whether that is the rural flying doctor, what are your communication lines set up and how long does it take to get here? And then what are you doing in the meantime? If something happens, what are you doing before they get here? Is it 20 minutes? Is it 40 minutes? Is it a couple of hours until you can get assistance here on the farm? Because tell you what, even a short period of time in a crisis situation feels like forever. Really important, I have talked previously on this channel about doing inventories thinking about the worst case scenario don't jewel on it don't have to be thinking about it all the time but what is going to make it easier on you your family and your workers and how are you going to set that up where is it going to be set up and what do you need so let's start with some basics of what you need so i have talked to friends in the health sector in the emergency sector and as well as people who do first aid kits, um, first aid projects and programs. Does your farm have a first aid kit? I'm not talking about Panadol and Band-Aids. I'm talking about a good quality first aid kit with some of the more extremes in it. Think about the hazards on your farm. Think about what you might need. Do you have anything from Band-Aids, bandages, cling wrap, um, eye solution for if you get something in your eyes. What are you going to do if someone gets burnt? What are you going to do if um, someone chokes? What are you going to do if someone has a heart attack? You know, what have you got in your first aid system? Do you have multiple tiers of systems and where are they? Please make sure you're keeping a list and also checking it. So a good quality first aid kit. Do you need more than one? If you are not central or working central to the house, do you need another kit? Always great to have a first aid kit at the house, at the yards, in the shed, up at the, you know, up at your cropping supplies. Like where are you spending most of your time? If you are spending a lot of time at the yards, then you probably need one there as well. And make sure that you've got in your calendar at least two different times the year where it's a specific person's job to inventory them, order supplies in, or just when you're in town next, go to Woolies, go to the pharmacist, rebuy those. St. John's um, has a fantastic first aid kit. I will try and link some of them below as well as some information on what they have and what they recommend. Do you have an app on your phone or some very detailed instructions on where you are and how to get to there, where you are. Are you going to spell the name of the road correctly so that emergency services know where you are? If you are on a back road, a dirt road, do you have instructions to be able to give to the ambulance how to get to your farm? What roads to use? What roads not to use? You know, if some are shut down for the season or, or whatever it is, do you have a backup route that they may be able to take? And is that in your mind as well as written down? Because chances are in a critical situation, the spelling of your road name may not be in forethought 
the same as your property name, even though you know it, you know it, you know it, you know it. Practicing those, writing it down, making sure it's with your first aid kit. Um, you know, more in-depth things that you might need for your first aid kit may include a heart defib, um, a life vac if someone is choking, if, you know, think about what you might need on farm and how far you are because that timing between when you make the triple zero call or when you call for help for someone on the farm, how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take and what are you going to do? Um, you know, I can't, can't stress that enough. Has people on your farm done first aid training? Um, and have they done revisions of that training? Because it's good to keep it in forethought. Um, what else are we looking at? So snake kits, snake kits are really important. Have you got one? Have you got multiple? Do you need them for the vehicles, the bikes, anything like that? Again, where are you working? And what supplies have you got there for snakes and spiders and anything else that may go wrong? You know, if you're working hand in hand with stock or in the yards, do you have something on hand if someone gets kicked or someone gets put up a fence or, you know, something like that? What have you got for them? And is it part of your first aid kit? Is it part of your inventory list? And are you going to need it? You may not need it, but it's there if you do. Uh, and I think that's really, really important. Um, what else am I wanting to say? I mean, I've talked on this channel before about timings. Know your timings. Know how long someone is going to take to get to you. Um, know what you're going to do in the meantime. Know where the, f you know, not all farms have defibs or extensive first aid kits, but know where the rural fire station is, how long it is to get there. A lot of, you know, those emergency vehicles, including those fire stations, have, you know, the additional tools that you need in a life-threatening situation. But how long is it going to take for them to get to you? And really in directions and instructions. I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to sit down and have this really informal chat to you about making sure that the importance of first aid, the importance of, you know, anything from a cut, a scrape, anything like that, right up to life threatening is so important on the farm and really do your research and please do your inventories. Make sure you're fully stocked. Make sure you have a plan um, so that it is less stressful of a stressful, stressful situation. <laughs> I'll um, try and link everything that I've discussed down in the links below. But stay safe and let's really keep safety in our for forefront of our mind. It is something that a lot of farms skirt around the edges of. But if we can think, plan and prep, uh, whether we're bringing that into a farm operation that has been running for you know, a long, long time or whether we are new to the farm and that's something that we need to bring along with it, make sure we're doing it. If the farm doesn't have a first aid kit, get a first aid kit. If they don't have a snake bite kit or a defib or something like that, please work it in the budget. Please make sure you're looking at it. It's the same as all our safety gear on our bikes or our tractors, anything like that that you are using all the time. Please look into the safety components of that and how can you improve that for you and your farm until next time thanks welcome to the farm